Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change out your Victron multi-control and upgrade it to a Serbo GX with a GX touchscreen. Remember, if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. The multi-control, you know, it's a great little thing for turning the inverter on and off very quickly or to charger mode very quickly, as well as setting your current limit if you want to change it from 15 amp to 30 amp to 50 amp. Very quickly, it's right there. Boom, you can change it. Past that, it doesn't really do much for me. Um, yeah, it also shows you what lights are on the multi-plus, which is, you know, helpful for certain things and to know what's going on. But to me, the, the Serbo GX and the I'm doing the GX70, which is a seven inch screen, but there's also a GX50, smaller screen. Um, that combination is, is undoubtedly superior in every way. Um, yes, it's obviously much more expensive. Um, I'll go over pricing uh, here in a bit and I will put a link in the description below to where you can buy all this stuff. Um, but uh, you know, the, the Serbo GX, you can do things, everything online, you can see it all online, you know, connect to the internet, blah, blah, blah. But from the screen, you can see everything that's occurring, wattages, you know, what the inverter's doing. And for me, with this new Airstream, I didn't even know that my water heater was actually on, on electric. And, you know, my battery was draining. I'm going through the RV like, what is on? I couldn't figure it out. And if I had the, if I had the Serbo GX hooked up, it would tell me what wattage was being pulled. And I would probably know from the amount of wattage, okay, Nothing else in this RV is going to make 12 to 1400 watts other than an air conditioner, the water heater, you know, um, the, the microwave. And obviously those things weren't on. So I would have, I would have been able to figure it out, but because I didn't have it, uh, I didn't even know it was on until all of a sudden I touched the thing and I realized that, oh, this is hot. Water heater was on and it was, it was sucking down my juice and sucking down my batteries and I had no idea. So uh, let's get right into the install. Now, fortunately the multi-control um, and the Serbo GX talk to the MultiPlus the same way, which is just through a standard Ethernet Cat5 type cable. And uh, so that's gonna be really easy. So I'm gonna actually use this compartment to mount my Serbo GX, um, as well as obviously I'm gonna put the, the screen right here, but um, all my stuff, the wiring goes in here. Let's take a look back here. Um, you can see the wiring go in, into the back back there and actually just tucks, tucks down into that corner right there and comes into my wardrobe which, uh, I'm not sure if you, yeah, you can see the cord right back in there, right back there, uh, comes down and then the multi plus is down here along with the batteries. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my positive and negative for the Serbo GX down to here. Um, I'm, and I'm gonna mount the Serbo GX itself up there, I believe. Um, and then I have cables to connect my battery monitor and the solar charge controller um, to the Serbo GX as well, so that all that stuff is on there. But uh, let us let me take a look at all this stuff and figure out exactly where I'm gonna put things. All right, so just as some rough mock-ups, I'll show you what I got going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this and get this out of the way. Um, the only thing that's plugged into the back of it is a uh, basically just an ethernet cord. Okay, let me, let me show you. There is the back of the multi-control, like I said, just this single ethernet cord going into it, okay? And then the Serbo GX, I just kind of have it sitting here right now. Um, and I plugged in just to mock up my cable lengths, um, my BMV 712, so that's plugged into it. And then I have the cord coming out of it um, that's going back, back there and down again through my wardrobe. Um, and right now I just have this stuff sitting right above <coughs> the inverter and whatnot. But uh, and the batteries and everything like that. But that's gonna, this is gonna get connected to the uh, solar charge controller, and then this obviously needs positive and negative. And then again, the Ethernet cord that comes off of the MultiPlus right now that's currently already up there, that's just gonna get plugged in into the Serbo GX right on on top um, under what's labeled VE bus. It's down here on the far right. Um, but uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get some of the things moving. We're gonna get this out of the way. Let's get to it. Okay, so I got the uh, multi-control taken out, and I got the frame for the GX70 uh, mounted to two of the existing screw holes and added two new ones, but now my hole in the back here is good enough for the cable to go through. And this basically just kind of snaps right in place, and that's, that's it. 
that's now in there. And again, on the other end of that is a HDMI cable along with a USB, and those get plugged right into the top of the servo. I'm not really gonna be able to show you guys me mounting the servo just cause it's uh, so tight in there, but I'm basically just gonna mount it on this wall as far back as I can that allows for this cable that goes from the uh, BMV 712 down to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that mounted back there. So we got the GX70 mounted. The cabinet is perfect. It goes right, right past it. Um, now I already had a hole, but just in case, you know, it does come with a, you know, diagram of how big to cut a hole. It also comes with a few different mounting options. Um, I didn't choose to, to, to use those just because I already had this pre-existing spot that I was putting it at. It also comes with um, uh, ferrule connectors or ferrite beads. And uh, let me let me change my angle real quick. Those ferrite clip-ons go right here at the base of it <coughs> and on the other end, uh, as close to the connection as possible. So those are, those are new from previous Servo GX and GX touches that I've installed before, some kind of compliance thing, but uh, those are easy to clip on. Now I'm hoping I can show you right now all the connections. I hope this video spot kind of shows them all, but the two smaller black cables are the, uh, one is for the BMV 712 and one is for the MPPT solar charge controller. Then I have the HDMI on the left as well as the USB which goes to the GX Touch 70. And then in the back right is the um, Cat5 Ethernet cable that connects to the MultiPlus. Now on the bottom side of the Servo GX, um, I just have the positive and negative connected in, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and disconnect from here for now and make my, make my connection down below, positive and negative, and then plug that in. Now it also has a lot of extra stuff, okay? This the Servo GX is capable of doing an infinite number of things. Um, I mean, there, there's other Victron products that use VE CAN instead of VE bus, and you can basically connect in, in series uh, multiple pieces together. Um, th those could be multiple solar charge controllers. There's a number of different things. Um, on the bottom side of the Servo GX, there are relays. Um, I've done uh, where I've used those relays in the past to do an auto start and auto stop for a generator, an onboard generator, which I actually plan on doing on this RV in the future, probably, you know, maybe next year. I'm not sure yet, but there's, there's multiple th things that you could do with them. There's also tank monitoring. Um, they have the inputs for different tank monitoring inputs. Again, usually used on uh, boats or yachts and stuff like that because Victron equipment did originate uh, by doing marine grade applications and then the RV side of things just kind of has taken over um, pretty significantly the past few years. But again, the Serpa GX is just an incredible piece of machinery. You can do a ton, ton, ton of stuff with it. But now I, all I gotta do is connect my positive and negative for the Servo GX down to my battery bank and get the other end of that VE Direct cable, which is that black cable uh, that plugs into my solar charge controller. So I just gotta plug that in and get a positive and negative going. So I'm gonna get down there and do that. I gotta get my shelf out of the way, but let's get to it. So right down there, you can see the VE Direct input and we got the VE Direct cable. This just goes right inside of that. Now that is connected to the Servo GX, so I'll be able to get all the solar charge controller information. So I got my positive and negative connected down uh, below, and now I went ahead and plugged it in to the bottom side of the Servo GX, and everything has booted up. Let me show you what the GX70 and the Servo GX are all about. Okay, so right here on the Touch 70, I can see my shore power, how much is coming in right now, It's at, which right now it shows 1,000 watts, essentially 1090, and that's going into the batteries it's charging. Shows that the MultiPlus is in bulk mode, it shows my AC loads, which currently is nothing. Um, shows the battery, DC power, basically what the DC side of the system is using, as well as uh, the solar charger and what it's producing and going in. I love this display, kind of really gets a good little flow of, of electricity and a good understanding for a lot of people. Now let me show you how I got these settings to show all this. A lot of people want to know how to add DC power onto here, and I'll show you how you do that. So you go under menu, we go to settings, and then if I'm not mistaken, it's system setup. Okay, and then right here has DC system. You have to turn that toggle on right there. Without that, that doesn't show. So I like to show that because it basically shows any excess wattage that isn't coming through the um, uh, 
AC side of things, it shows it on the DC because obviously that's going somewhere and that's where it shows that at. So um, I went ahead and connected this to the uh, internet as well so that I could access through VRM. But uh, let me show you a couple other things. So the multi-control, you know, like I said, it has the on off toggle switch and it had the dial that you can change the input change. Okay, so now this can still do the same exact stuff. It's just a couple extra steps. So I go into menu and I click the multi plus and right here I can turn the switch from on to off inverter charger etc okay i can also change the input current limit okay right now i have it at 12 but i can just as easily up up it to 15 okay bam uh, which technically i'm on a 15 amp i like to set it down low um, just because i have other stuff on the same exact uh plug right now in my garage so i like to keep it just a little bit lower but right there, you can change that stuff. It's very quick and simple and easy to get to. So that's it for this week's video. That's how you do a quick upgrade from the Victron Multi-Control to a Victron Serbo GX and Touch 70. Very easy swap out, positive and negative, a couple VE direct cables, depending on your system, what you're using with the BMV 712 and a solar charge controller. I only needed two of those. And again, the Multi-Control already had the, the uh, ethernet for the Multi-Plus. So it was very quick and simple to do. I absolutely love this. Um, I have other videos showing VRM online. I'm not going to get too far into that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to drop a like, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good fun stuff. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.